I, I'm really focused right now on, <clears throat> you know, Fed, uh, FedRAMP will be stood up. Uh, once it's implemented, then how do we move from there? How do we make security assurance greater, easier, more cost effective for cloud computing solutions? And I, I guess I want to point out that cloud computing by itself, it, it's conducive to security automation. The whole characteristics of resource pooling, the location independence uh, within a data center of processing and data, uh, the level of homogeneity that exists at some level of abstraction within most clouds, just the economic need for having a large cloud and the economic need for automated management. All of that uh, makes it very easy to move continuous monitoring, security automation into a cloud environment. And I, I see really two areas where this can, can work. Uh, one is in, a, is in cloud APIs to allow customers to real time see the status of cloud security. Uh, there's an industry effort out there, A6, uh, which is it's, it's simple, but, it, but it's a start to sort of give cloud customers uh, visibility into sort of security documentation around a cloud. But I, I think we can go a little farther have interactive languages where we request the security data that we need about a cloud so we have that assurance that we need and then we get those summary results back so that, that we know we, we're, we're actually using the cloud that we, we think is secure. Uh, very quickly for this to happen, we need security enumerations, we need uh, querying standards, we need reporting standards, um, we need scoring systems. What amazes me is in the last few months that I've been researching this, the technical pieces exist. They've already been developed, some over the last 10 years, some over the last year. They're being finalized. All we as a government need to do is create reference architectures, put them together, and all this can happen.